Here with Gina, and we've been working on her face a little bit. She really needed a mixture of some tightening, but also resurfacing. So what we've done so far, we did a first layer of Morpheus, the resurfacing, not the deep Morpheus. So this is radio frequency microneedling that stays very superficial. So I'll show you what that looks like. Well, this decreases your pore size, tightens your skin, and this sort of resurfacing is like doing a laser, like a Fraxel laser without the heat and the, and the side effects of it. The same result. So she's been numb, but we like to give a little nitrous with this. So she's more comfortable. So this is making little tiny microscopic holes, but it's also giving her radio frequency energy at a very superficial layer so that we're resurfacing for all the little rough spots that she's had over the years from acne and picking and being a baby girl. <laughs> so now we've done two passes with the with the resurfacing head of the micro of the Morpheus 8, right? So she has thousands of little micro channels. So before this, we started taking some, some, we took some blood from her and we spun it down and processed it to get the platelets out. So I'm gonna put a little layer of this. And we had put some platelets on her skin already before I did the Morpheus to help pen, make it penetrate. But now I'm gonna put some more PRP on her face. Now PRP is like growth factor, so it's like fertilizer for your skin. Mm -hmm. So what it's gonna do is gonna take this PRP and it's gonna heal her skin in a way that she could never do with skin creams alone or with procedures alone. And then we're gonna push that even deeper with the manual microneedler. So this is pushing in the PRP deep into her skin, and this will go about a millimeter to a millimeter and a half deeper into her skin. With all that PRP that we put on the surface is being pushed in there. So not only is she getting the benefits of this additional microneedling, which is smoothness, tightness, decreased blemishes, but also she's getting the PRP pushed in, which is that natural healing, building her collagen, tightening her skin naturally with her own plasma. Now, you may see I heard people call PRP stem cell therapy. That's, that's a misnomer, it's not true. This is platelet growth factors. People like throwing around that word stem cell to everything and that PRP works, but it's not stem cells. But it's working because it's giving the building blocks for your skin to lay down new collagen, elastin, and regulate the melanin. So now we made some more holes. Now we're gonna put more PRP. And we let this dry each time it soaks in. So these channels, it's really wonderful. These channels will stay open for about 12 hours. And at that time, during that time, you know, you, everything you put on the surface is gonna penetrate deep when we want it. So things like PRP, or sometimes we use even nano fat to put into the skin and that rejuvenates a tremendous amount. Now, there's nobody that this doesn't help. And that's one of those treatments. You know, sometimes there's treatments that you just really have to have a problem for them to make any difference. But this is a treatment that even if you have gorgeous skin, you just keep it longer. So there's nothing, nobody doesn't benefit from this treatment.